think I'm ruining our daughter. Okay. I think I'm ruining her, right. and I'm not mad about it. None of this sounds good at all. What are you talking about? So every day she <laughs> she says, I love you. Yes. And I tell her, love is overrated. So that tonight when <laughs> when she was going to bed, um, I said, no, she says, I love you. And I was like, I love you too. And she was like, love is overrated. Oh, oh I didn't know she said that. <laughs> I didn't know she said that. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. But I like it though. Why? I, because she won't let some nigga uh, uh, try to get into her head and be like, "Yo, I love you so much." This, that, and the third. Or some female, "I love you so much, girl." This, that, and the third. No, she's not going to allow that to happen. Yeah. She's not going to allow her feelings to uh, to take over her mental. You was hurt like a lot. Nah, it ain't about like, being I know hurt. You was, nah, that's some hurt shit. That's, that's hurt? Yeah, I mean, you could just tell her. You don't have to do it yourself. You know what I mean? What you mean? You don't have to damage her. I'm not so damaging her. So she can go out her. into the world and have a story. I'm not damaging her. I'm making her stronger. What does that sound like? It sounds like a Kanye song. No, and if somebody right. made and Kanye stronger, he wouldn't be out here getting and banned by Instagram. All right, here it goes. Here we go. Here it is. <laughs> it's J-Rod. And then we had Sex the Podcast, the fastest growing podcast in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Atlanta this week. What yeah. up, Atlanta? Atlanta, listen, Atlanta was blowing the listens up this week. So shout out to y'all out I love there. Atlanta. We're gonna be out there very, very soon. I love Atlanta. Can't wait. I love Atlanta too. Even though some of my friends they hit me up and they're like, yo, Atlanta's different, man. And I'm like, what you talking about? I'm like, Atlanta's just different, bro. And I'm like, okay. Different whatever that how? Means. What do you mean? Well, so my boy told me that uh and these and these are two bad things and i don't want to look at atlanta like this but my boy was like he doesn't let his wife go to the uh to the gas station by herself because everybody can have guns and i was like can't everybody not everywhere i mean they don't tell you you can't have them but they be they can have them nah but atlanta gun laws is very loose that's the laws but how many niggas you know follow the laws with the guns true not, True. not the ones I know. Not the ones you got to worry about. I don't. All right. Because you know a bunch of thug ass niggas. I mean, it's okay. I know. I mean, I just, I'm just saying, that's not stopping that many people from having guns. Listen, he that just says she anywhere. can't go to the gas station Maybe at night he by just, herself. You know, sensitive. I don't know. He is. He is. He's sensitive. All right. He loves the show, though. So I don't want to talk too much shit about him. He no, I'm not going to talk shit about him. But I mean, that can happen anywhere you go. Yeah, but places with gun laws that are very uh, loose. You need to be worried. Never mind. You need to be worried about what? You talking about gun laws and stuff. And I, I, I don't want to start a podcast out like that. I don't want to do that. What, gun laws? No, yeah, I just, yes. Yeah, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'd rather... I want to get a gun, though. I want to get a gun. Um, and I've been going back and forth with it. But I feel like as a man, I need to protect my household. So I feel like I need a gun in the house. I don't like guns. I know, and that's one of the reasons why I, I haven't. I mean, I'm not. Ain't nothing now. against guns, but I something about having them in the house. And our kids are reckless. Like it's. I know somebody. Um, when I was younger, like her little cousin shot her other little cousin in the face and killed him. Wow. Cause like just kids, and I I remember when this happened, and ever since then I've just been a little like. Oh, uh, something with kids. I get it. Well, I can, I, I can fight still. And like our babies are, you know, they special babies, and they might do it to each other. I don't. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot. I can fight still. So somebody come through. Hey, put your hands up. Nah, son. When the last time you fought? Damn. When is the last time I fought? Yeah, you can't just be. Um, don't just be throwing shit out there. Like, nah, I can still fight. Can you though? Cause you. Nah, the last time I got in a fight was high school. Yeah, so how you know you can still fight? Because you don't lose that. You, you know how old you are? Do you know? No, it's a real question. You, do you know how old you are? What anniversary is coming up for high school? How many years has it been? <sighs> over 20, I think. No, 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 not over 20. Um, My 20... It's like next year. Next year, yeah. 
Yeah. That's a long... You know what a 20-year-old can do to you? A 20-year-old can't do shit to me. A 20-year-old can fuck you up. Hand to hand? Yeah, some of them, they, they yeah. Hand to hand. 20? Do they know karate? They be knowing karate now. No. <laughs> <laughs> These 20-year-olds different. They, you know, it's they 20. You trying to say a 20-year-old going to fuck me up? He got a lot more energy than you do. I doubt a 20-year-old's going to fuck. I got man strength. You see how they make 20-year-olds now? Yeah, like, they big as a bitch. You see them? I don't care. You don't, you sure? You So if a 20-year-old came up to us and was trying to start some shit, you think I'm not going to bust his ass just because I'm in front of you? But who's going to be quicker, though? He might get the first hit. Baby. He might get the f- second hit. But by the seventh hit, you, I got him. You're going to be awake. I got like, him. Like, oh, we fighting. Yeah, exactly. I didn't even know we was yeah, fighting. Yeah, because you know. When did this start? <laughs> Shit. It might. <laughs> ah, my nose hurt. Nah, when did it, that? Might, it might take a couple of hits to get me awake. Like, mm, mm, right there. Yeah. But once I'm there, oh, it's, going, it's on. And I'm stomping them. That, I don't know. 20 year old, they different now. Listen, For real. I see but them. Here's the thing I've been fight. I fought so long. I learned how to have fights with people but to you make said, it quick. But you said high school, baby. Yeah, but they got new fights now. <laughs> okay, okay, but here, but here it is, right? I fought from the time I was about six years old to high to high school, like 17, 18 years old. So I was you were fighting. still fighting when you were singing in the talent show? Hell yeah! Who you had to fight in the talent show? <laughs> There's some jagged edge niggas in there, the la- huh? The last fight I had... Y'all was 112. They was jagged edge, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nah, y'all was... <laughs> nah, but we were on no punks, though. So y'all did fight in groups? Nah, we didn't fight. No, I didn't. I never fought like y'all a... Y'all fought as a squad? No. <laughs> when singing, Actually... When singing groups fight, do y'all like... Y'all vocal battle, like dance battles? N- no, listen... I remember being in a party with one of my group members, uh-huh. um, and I never forget it. We were doing the heel toe at the time, and we heel toe. You talking about you could fight a twenty year old? <laughs> 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 you reminiscing about the heel toe? God, dog. We doing the heel toe in the club, and all of a sudden a fight break out, and my man's he came over. It was like his hand was in California, and he came all the way over to England. And hit this dude. Wakata. That's that was the hit. That's what you heard. Wait. Wakata. <laughs> like when he did it, the dude just dropped. And I was like, okay, I can hang with him. What? I can hang with him in the streets now. Like, I get it. Like all everybody that I hung out with, even in college, they were all fighters. Like just fighters for no reason. I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine an R&B group. What you mean? Just like, just because I got nice vocals, mean wearing, I can't. Yeah, I can't I'm, fight? I'm picture y'all um, in the vest we talk about last week, and like match your outfits, and like I, just out there, just. Yeah, you used, you used to have to match outfits. We, uh, we y'all was beating niggas with matching outfits. Nah, we. I told you we ain't never got in a fight as a group, even though we we almost did. How y'all dress? Like compare yourselves to another group. How y'all dress? Like boys to men. So which one? Suits, uh, like Motown Philly boys men, to men. Walking, walking suits. Remember the walking suits they used to have in Harold Penner. And I remember we all had pays, <laughs> not paisley, um, pastel colors. Can you tell everybody what year this was? Because for real, it this was like, like it shouldn't be. This was like two thousand, two thousand one, something like that. And we all had on the paisley, uh, pastel walking suits. For one of the shows, like one had like this this pastel green, another had a pastel pink. He was mad about that. Matter of fact, the dude that did the Wakata, he was the one that had to wear the pink, and he was pissed. Yo, son, yeah, I can't be out here wearing no pink out here, Cameron man. Cameron wasn't they gonna out think there, I'm a huh? punk. Yeah, this is right before Cameron. This is before oh, Cameron. So it showed Cam. That's so crazy that Cameron had to let y'all know it was okay to wear pink. Yeah, listen, he was he was mad about. It. He didn't want to sing. He did not want to sing because we he's got him. He's singing. Who? I'm saying he's singing. What? I don't understand. Nah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to sing when we showed him the suit, and it took it took about an hour or two to get him to wear that suit and get him to go on stage with did- us. Jim, what up, Jim? If he's listening, what up, Jim? Oh yeah, Jim ain't a regular name, so yeah. Like- <laughs> 
<laughs> he he now one of the regular group members, so y'all just kicked that nigga out. Huh? <laughs> Jim stopped coming to practice. He didn't know what it was like to be in a group. He That's what it. it was. Jim stopped coming to practice, man. Jim was cool though. Jim was real cool, and and like I said, after that fight, um, in the club, I was like, yo, he, I can go anywhere with his dude, man. That's so funny. Yeah, that yeah. Is so, but I can fight though. Funny. Couple of hits, and I'm back in it. Yeah, I know so many people that try to fight and like dress up, what? uniform, like just dressed up, like so many. I don't know, like artistic singing, dancing dudes that like was just fighting. Remember, I told you about that one dude. It was a dancing dude, and then he wore all white one day and tried to punk somebody, and then they got him, and he had blood all over that white suit. You did tell me about that. <laughs> he thought he was going to fuck them up. He jumped in front of a car, like, get the fuck out of the car. And I was like, don't get the fuck out of the car. Please don't get out the car. Use the car. Get your white suit having ass out from in front of the car. And they tow his ass up, and he deserved that shit because he provoked it. And what is he doing now? All right, what's? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing he, this. He no, still, I'm not doing this. He's still fighting though. You tr- <laughs> he's still fighting. You're trying to get me caught up in some shit. That he don't I, listen. I'm not in the mood. I'm sure some of his, you know, all right, his man. followers. All right, man. Let's go. Let's go. No, let's <laughs> do something else. I'm not doing do this. <laughs> you always trying to get me in some shit. No, I'm not doing this with you. No, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Matter of fact, I ain't never, I ain't seen him since. You lying? He said you was a seen, superstar. I ain't seen him since. He called you a superstar. I ain't seen him since that ass whooping. He, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. Now, what else we doing? No. Nope. What else did they talk about? Oh my God, something important. Yo, how was your week? Nah, what I do this week? I don't know what you did this week. What? It was your week. You was here. What you mean? My week is your week. You with me? What are you talking about? I'm not with you every day. I'm with you. Right. <laughs> what are you, you right. talking about? <laughs> you right. Um, it was a week. I mean, some shit. I guess I don't know. I I had a week. We booked some shows. Okay, that's what I did. Did you this do week. anything newsworthy this week? I, we booked some cities, so I got noteworthy. that. I that's noteworthy. I got some cities booked. So that's cool. You feel good about that? Yeah, I feel really good about that. I feel like shit just, you know, was happening. We found out we was like on the charts. That was big. That's stupid. That was big. Like it might not mean a lot to people, but I ain't never been on no chart. You ever been on a chart? Y'all nah. singles ever made the charts? Nah. <laughs> I've been, I ain't never been on a chart. Nah. We uh, top 50 comedy uh, podcasts in the on world. Apple podcast, yeah. yeah, that's crazy to No, me. that is so huge. And that's all thanks to you guys. Right? Like that, I don't even, I, why the fuck do y'all still listen to No, no, us? keep listening. Especially the people that start from the beginning. How do they hold out until now? Because I would have been gave up on this. Somebody said that they listened to every episode in the last two weeks. I would have been gave up. That math ain't math enough. Maybe because you know, like, we still together. But, like, if I if this was, like, a, a novel, like, I got halfway through, like, I would have could have sworn that this shit was not. <laughs> you know what the ending was? Yeah, like, maybe they know because we, because this shit is, that shit's rough. But thank y'all for listening. Yeah, no doubt. And sharing them with other people. I love that shit, too. But, yeah, so that's. That was my... I didn't really do anything. I get it. I, I get oh, it. I booked two headlining gigs in... That's big. In Pennsylvania. That's big. We're going to ask you about what those dates are a little later. So you might want to have that prepared. My phone's on the charger. My phone's on the charger. You never come fucking prepared. I'm never prepared. I don't know why you asked me. It's in your calendar, too. Oh, we can't use your phone either. Well, no. fuck. I don't know what you want me to do. Why don't we put it in the... In the notes? No. On YouTube? No. All right. Well, I don't know. I, next time when I come in, I'm going to announce it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, My week. How was my week? How my was week, week was... uh, My week was pretty good. Um, I started I started my diet. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Yo, somebody on YouTube said, yeah, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> 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 don't... I think she said it sounded like a water gun or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, I started my diet. I I edit all of the videos. If you didn't know that, guys, and we do everything. 
I don't do shit, but you do. It. You do all um, of it. You do things. You, you, I, I sit, you make us laugh. I sit here. You make us laugh. But you do the hard work. You, yeah, you're right. I, I sit here and be like, ah, I'm going to bed. You have fun mixing that shit down. <laughs> I don't do nothing. <laughs> but no, so um, I get to see myself on camera each and every week. And I'm tired of seeing myself look the way I do, especially when I go to old videos and see how I used to look. The craziest part is when you gain weight and then you look back at pictures of you before. You don't think that you were that little? No, it's just like, yo, why was I tripping about losing weight back then? That's what then? I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, Because you were big on like, no, nah, I got to do something else. And I, and I was like, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Yeah, man. Like I was looking good You back still then. look good. Nah, don't lie to me. I don't lie to you, though. Don't that's lie to the me, thing. man. Yeah, you've gained some weight, but you don't understand. I like, I love nah, that No, nah, you shit. can't say you've gained some weight. You got to say you gained some but weight. But I don't have to say that because I don't have the same problems with it that you have. Like, I understand how you want to look. I met you. I Like, I know what transitions your body has gone through. But, like, you can't make me be as upset about the way you look as you are. Can I ask you a question and you be honest? Yeah. Has the sex changed since the weight has gone up? Has the sex changed? Yeah. Since my weight has increased, has our sex changed? A little bit. In what way? Uh Uh-uh. No, in what way? No, I'm not doing this. No, in what way? I always feel like you just, you ask me stuff because you want to put me in this corner. No, uh, you're not in a corner. I'm just curious in what way. It just, I don't know. Well, for one, we don't really have all the space that we did before. Because I'm taking it up. (laughs) <laughs> That's not what I said. That's what I'm saying. I didn't even say that. No, I mean like just where we are now. We don't really have like the opportunities to go and like do some tricky shit. Okay. So maybe that's why. So you're saying the tricks have declined? Yeah. That's not because of the space. We don't have as much sex either. It's because of the air. I'm losing my breath a lot during sex. Well, I wouldn't know that. You're a fucking liar. No. Nope. We talked about this. We talked about what? We talked about this. Don't you lying? You, yeah, you lying and you being nice and shit. No, I'm not being nice. That's not fair. Why are you trying to get me to do this? No, I just want you to be honest, man. People love the honesty. Don't start your, oh, I'm going to be nice to this nigga. No, sometimes I... No, don't do that. I am nice to you, but... Yeah, sometimes I lose air too, but that's okay because I. So I'll be crushing you. No, I'm saying it's like learning how to swim. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I heard your breath control is different. I don't know how to swim, so that might be a lie. I don't know, but I know that I know how to adapt. I know how to adapt very well to everything so i don't notice any difference i just know that i'm dedicated to working harder and that's what i do so look at me i'm a great fucking wife do you think it's changed yeah like my stamina has decreased um well duh i mean that's not yeah okay my stamina has decreased and i don't you also vape Which I told you. I'm quitting this week. No, I quit. I actually quit no, like a grown up. You don't understand how that can affect I am your quitting, energy. I'm quitting this week. Okay. I'm quitting this week. Okay. I almost quit last week, but I found another one and I said I got to. Found it at the store. Huh? No, I didn't buy. I, pr- I swear I didn't buy this mm-hmm. one. But um. Somebody else did. No. They gave it to you for free because you come in there so No, much? and actually. You had a discount. No, the funny thing is somebody did give us, a Taylor gave me a vape and I threw it out the window. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. So like, this is I'm, Taylor's fault? No, 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 no. This one, I, the, the one I got now, I found. Where'd you find it? On the dresser. On the dresser after you bought it when you took it out of the package? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find but it? But I'm stopping, though. I'm stopping that, too. Like, I'm, okay, I'm really so getting healthy. That's a thing. Like, that's I'm part healthy. of it. That's part and of it. And that's, hopefully, pro- that's also probably why you're not motivated to, to exercise like you did before. Like, before you was... 
and there was nothing to go to the gym and or do jump and like jump rope or do whatever the fuck you would do everything you might be right you you might be right because jumping right. rope is sometimes i am right hell now yeah. so but you know the weather's changing and i'm going to change right along with the weather it's getting nice outside hell like, and i want to take off my clothes man i won't be naked you always want to be naked. Hell yeah. I don't understand. That's why your babies are like that. Hell yeah. That's why them kids like I am naked. proud when them babies take off their shirts. I don't like I'm it. like, look at these chests just walking out here. These little bird or chests. Today when um Cam after he went potty, he just came and sat on the couch beside Taylor with his dick out. <laughs> no, dick that was out. a little different. I was like, no, that's not what we put it up. Put it up. <laughs> he ain't know, though. Bless his heart. He ain't know. Um, let's get into the question of the day. Question of the day. What can't you share with your partner? What can't you share with me? I don't know. Honestly, I would say food, but it's more like a, I don't want to, but you get some anyway. Yes. Yeah, so, you, you try not to share food with me, and I don't allow that. What can I share with you? I don't know. Clothes? <laughs> like, I don't know. Clothes? Okay. You won't let me share socks with you. You right. That's crazy. You're way more selfish than I am. I'm selfish because I don't want you to fuck up my son. You but know, that's like a re- like you're supposed to. I don't have any. Like just let no. me try. Here and and I buy you socks. I buy you socks. But if I really don't, I just one pair. Like you get like visibly angry. Yes. Why? What if because socks do to you? <clears throat> socks didn't do anything to me. It's you. Somebody used to take your socks when they no, were younger. No, never. No. No. I've I was never a I thing. Do? Listen, right before I met you, I got into like having socks. <laughs> you didn't have feet before that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No, like right before I met you, I got into like having nice uh, uh, a lot of pairs of socks cuz you know me, I'll wear socks for like 3-4 days. That is nasty. That's nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. Oh, whatever. Well, I will. Um and I got into buying like different types of socks and different uh, uh, patterns and, yeah. you know, all that. Um, then I met you. I was still into socks and you wanted to, <laughs> you, you was wearing a pair of my socks one day. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's fine. She wearing a pair of my socks is all good. Then I went to look for the socks and I could only find one pair. I mean, one, one, uh, one sock couldn't okay. find the pair. Okay. So I was like, okay, whatever. You know, maybe I lost it. Then I see you with another pair of my socks on. I go to look for those socks again a, a couple of days later or, you know, while I'm washing clothes, and I only see one sock again. And I'm like, why the fuck am I losing all my fucking socks when she has them on? And I'm like, oh, it's because she has them on. She fucking with my socks. So now... You can't touch my socks. You should have been proud of me because they matched. And I don't like matching socks. I don't give a fuck. I had both of them. <clears throat> you don't like matching socks because you lose one sock every time you put on two socks. You a sock loser. I, well, that's okay. That's fine. No, it's not fine. It is. It's, you need to change. No, it's why? For who? For me. Why? For you. Why? Because socks are an important thing in your life, or it should be. Why are you hollering about socks? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like underwear, socks, bras. Well, I'm not trying to wear your underwear. So well, that. I, and I'm not trying to wear your bras. But when we get to the socks, we got to understand that we should both have our own socks. We are broke, but we're not <laughs> that broke. I mean, we. No, we we'll never be broke enough for us not to have our own socks. Ever. Okay. So don't touch my socks. Okay. No, I I say that, and I want you to understand that. You not to touch my socks. It's just it's, and don't touch the boys' socks either. I can't fit them yet. No, but, but you soon, still you oh, lose you lose their socks soon, too. Soon I'm gonna be fucking their socks up. No, you're not. But watch. You lose their socks too. You I just do. lose socks. How the fuck do you lose socks? Everybody loses socks. No, That's like not a common everybody. thing that no. people lose. <laughs> no socks. No. Yes, it is. Nobody. Yeah. That's bullshit. You think people buy like five pairs of socks and they keep all five pairs together? Yes. No, they don't. Yo, people I do. lose socks. No, I don't no, lose, you don't. I didn't lose socks for years until I met you. I was about to say, no, you don't, because I'd be looking for some of your socks. <laughs> and I just be seeing one. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, because of you. That wasn't me. 
I can't believe you, man. It's okay. Are you okay, I'm, though? No, I'm mad about the shit all over again. I know. I ain't been mad about socks in weeks. I wore your socks two days ago. What's the next subject? I'm sorry. I just wanted to um, throw that in You're an there. asshole. What is the next one? You are an asshole. Let's just... get into the your answers. Uh, <laughs> can you not share with your partner? Fucking their family members. Damn. That feels personal. Damn. What would make you fuck a family member? You have seen family members before? Of yours? Not mine. I was talking about like just in general. Like I've seen I've seen people who have I've I've dated people. Have you fucked somebody else's family member? Anybody you've dated? You ever fucked one of they like a sister or something, a cousin? Nah. Nah. You sure? I don't think so, no. If you fucked anybody in Virginia, you probably fucked a cousin. <laughs> I'm just telling you because this is everybody related out here. Nah, I don't. I don't think I was. I was ever on that. Um, I'm proud of you. Yeah, no, I I fucked a lot of friends though. Mm, I know. I've I've fucked. It was probably cousins too. No, no, but they would say that we sisters. I'm like, ah, oh, but she had my dick in her mouth. All too. right, <laughs> so they are sisters. <laughs> they sister wives they, now. They, it's <laughs> they, they got something in common. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I never fought like real blood family members. I don't. I don't think I've done. You fucked brothers before? No. Why did you automatically go to brothers? I don't know. It could have been cousins. I had. You fucked cousins before? No, I didn't say that, did I? I said it could have been. I I I had a friend who um <clears throat> let let two brothers run a train on her. What she say about the experience when she was done? She was she loved it. She loved it. How'd they feel about it? I, I don't know them. I didn't know the guys. What she did they say? Ask you ask her what they said to her afterwards? No, no, she but she loved it. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was I mean, hey. She was with it. Hey, I guess. <clears throat> Nobody's no, I never met a freak that was like, yo, I want you and your brother to fuck. And I don't think I could. Yeah, that'll be weird. Yeah. I don't think I would want to do that. He bigger than me, so I don't know. He might have a big dick too, and I don't want to be out there. And, I don't want to picture yeah, his dick yeah, at all. At all. That is not what all. just happened. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't want to do that. We're getting an argument. Ma, why I get it? Ma, how you give him that dick? Ma. <laughs> um, what can't you share, people? What can't you share, my insecurities? That's a big one. Yeah. You can't share your insecurities. I've noticed a lot of people are like that. They can't. They're they're scared about being honest and open with their partner because they don't want to be judged. But it's but isn't that what a partner is there that's for? That's what though? I thought too. But apparently, people some people just want to be together for the sake of being together. I don't. I wouldn't settle for someone that you can't just take your wig off with. You know. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, what's your biggest insecurity? Um, my biggest insecurity. I don't know if I can narrow it down to one. God damn! I'm very you need insecure. Counseling. I'm very insecure. But you okay, just that. just give me one. One. Uh, my legs. Yeah, that's that's insecurity. Yo, fuck that should, you. That should be an insecurity. Why? <laughs> I've seen chickens with thicker legs than you. <laughs> you try to fuck the chickens too? You want to fuck the chickens? Huh? Fat ass chickens. <laughs> uh, that's why you like wings? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. What? That's BCI. Oh, no, it's starting right? start to get too deep into it. <laughs> no, I don't like my I don't like my calves. You I don't, don't have yeah. calves. Like talk, can you can I talk about yeah, it and bad. not you? My bad. Like shut up. My bad. So yeah, that's one. Okay. I've got like you want a top three? What? You want a top three? Okay, top three. That my forehead. 
but cute girls got no, big foreheads. No, don't though. do that. Nah, like the cutest girls don't got big foreheads. I ain't never seen a girl with a little forehead that was cute. And I don't have hips, so you got you got you got some hips. I don't think I have hips. Nah, them. you you got some hips. I've seen people with no hips, like, and it's not until you meet a person with no hips that you appreciate your wife with little hips. Like I've seen no hips. And that's okay. Or the weird thing, I've seen no hips, fat ass. I don't think it's weird. I, people can be built the way they want. Whatever. Built however they're built. Yeah, bad body bitch. Me, okay, can you not do that? That was bad? Yeah. Listen, I'm a bad body bitch. Okay. <laughs> we out here together in solidarity. No God damn hips, it. no butt. You don't have no butt. I don't think it's bad. I think people are just made the way they're made. Like, But I just know me. I'm like... Everybody told me when you have babies, you get hips, and I didn't get none of that shit. And I was like, all right, well. Would you ever do I mean, surgery to change those things? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that. Why not? Because I don't want to. I I would rather, you know, work out or do like concentrate on certain. Like if I want to build anything, but I don't want to. No, I don't want surgery. So you don't want surgery on anything. Like you get money. And you out here in these streets. Why you want to? Why you want me to do something to my titties so bad? I know you talk about my titties. Why you want me to do something to them so bad? Huh? What about your titties? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, leave my titties out of it. That's crazy. That wasn't even on my list of insecurities. Fuck you. I know what they've been through. <laughs> Yo, you are such an asshole. Nah, nah, nah. I didn't, I, did I say anything? You nah, said it. Nah, I don't even. I'm okay. You said it, man. Look, I just, I, you know, I'm getting older. I've gone through some shit, and they gonna hang a little low, and I'm cool with that. You, you should be as secure. Remember the, remember the other night? Which one? When I was trying to connect. The... You tried to pull them together, my nipples. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they moved, and I didn't like that shit at all. <laughs> Yo, I was literally trying to connect the dots. It's just I I'm okay with them being a little low. You get older, they hang low. And yeah. I'm fine with that. And just pick it up. Yeah. So as secure as I am about my titties, you should be as just as secure with your balls. What's the matter with my balls? They No, what's the matter with my balls? There's nothing to matter with them. I just know that they're older and that's fine. I don't have old balls. And this ain't the first time you said it either. You think my titties old? No, your titties are long. Okay, so your balls are long, and that they happens. are not long. That man. happens when you get older. They aren't long. And 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 to be honest, if they were long, and I needed a a a, a nut lift, do they have a nut lift? They probably got everything, man. They got dick enhancers. So I know I heard that. Yeah. That's so extended or something like to that. Me. Yeah. Yeah. So a nut lift? Hell yeah, I'll do it. For you? But yeah. I don't want it. So I'm not gonna do it. But if you wanted it, I would do it. Is that supposed to be your answer to me getting a breast lift? Because you want it? I'm not doing that shit. You gotta buy me better bras. I don't know. No, I'm just trying to cha- I- change me. <clears throat> I want you to have what you miss and i know you miss perky titties no i miss my perky titties not somebody else's they will still be yours they're on your body it's not the same it's not the same no i'm okay i don't want surgery i'm okay Okay. with my body i've had kids i'm 35 it's not a bad body no it is not but i love your body no you don't no i really do. clearly you don't like you sometimes i just rub you maybe just like my skin your skin nice too. You do have some soft skin. Oh, skin is all. Yeah, it's soft. It's soft as shit. I've been man. using that, that Neutrogena body oil. <laughs> that shit works. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take a shower while you're still wet and then put the oil and then you blot dry. Oh, blot gosh. dry. <laughs> and you be blotting the fuck out of your body. Because so when you want your curls to stay moisturized in your hair, there's a method called, it's LOC, the lock method, and it's liquid oil cream. So I use that same thing with my skin. So I get in the shower, it's wet. Liquid. Did I put, <laughs> did I put the Neutrogena oil on it? That's oil. And then I do the cream and I use the lotion. That's the body cream. I lock all that moisture in. 
Okay. I got to do. Oh, shit. It's working. You notice that shit? That's yeah. crazy. But your skin has always been soft since I've known I've you. I've been using the lock method. <laughs> For a long time. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that shit. I was like, I know. Because hair is like that skin. I was like, that shit got to work for real, like a lot of skin. Oh, my gosh. What can't you share with your partner? My water. I don't give a fuck. Don't touch my water. That is deep. Water? That's deep. God, it rains. That's deep. Like, nah, mm -mm, step aside. Water though. <laughs> step aside. Go in the house till it's done raining. Go in the house. This is my rain. Yo, that's, that's funny. funny. Um, that I like women also. Oh no, wow. that's sad that you can't share that. Wow, that sucks. Well, but you can't say that sucks because you said you've dated women that are bisexual before, and yeah. then... they all shared it with me. But you didn't want to date women that were bisexual because you had bad experiences with them. Yeah. And then you married me. Yeah. But I knew that you were bisexual before we got married. How? I didn't tell you. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah. Probably. We started off talking about some freaky shit, though. Yeah. Okay, but then we got married. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> my experience, my experiences were bad. But that never made me say, oh, I can never date a bisexual woman. It was like, I would rather not. But there are some men that feel that. And maybe maybe that's happened to her before. Or maybe she just does, you know. Did that ever happen to, to you? That. Where you were, I guess, apprehensive about telling somebody yeah. that? Yeah. 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 I didn't really share that for real. I didn't really feel a need to share it when I was in a relationship, but I felt comfortable enough with you to tell you shit like that. Why? What did I do to make you feel comfortable? I don't know. You got a nice face. <laughs> I don't know. My face, Me, though? Me, you were just very open, like, just up front. We were open early. I think we were open, like, when I came and met you. Like, yes. we had a, you, we the talked first, about. The, the second time we, we met up. Yeah, yeah, we talked about a lot of shit. So I think I just felt comfortable with you by the time we were at a point where we were going to date. I like, get that. I was like, oh, well, this is already, it can't get worse than, the, you know what I mean? No, so. I get that. I get that. Um, A lot of people said this, toothbrush. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I've shared your toothbrush before. Wait, what? You've used my toothbrush? I've used your toothbrush before. For what? My teeth. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Why did you use my toothbrush? Ooh, guess we can't share everything. No. Why did you? <laughs> you put my toothbrush in your mouth? Nigga, you put my dick in your mouth. It's your not that bad. Your dick don't have plaque on it. It's different. <laughs> plaque is nasty. You cannot do that. Your tooth. Your my toothbrush <laughs> went in your mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, oh, that's so nasty. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. You didn't just say that. No, I'm serious. Why? Was it recently? No, not recently. I've done it on trips. I've done it. Yo, I've gotten to my toothbrush and it was wet. <laughs> and I was like, you know, sometimes you go for a toothbrush and the other one fall in the sink and it rents off or something like that. And I was like, maybe that's why. Maybe it fell. No, like the first time I did it, I thought it was disgusting. I did it by accident. Like I picked up your toothbrush and I saw it. Because remember we had like two brushes that were very similar. Yo, and that's when my toothbrush was wet. Yeah, and I I did it and I was like, yo, this ain't my toothbrush. Shit, let me put it down. But then we were on a trip one time and I was like, well, I already used it before. It ain't like I ain't did it before. And I ate a pussy, so I might as well use a toothbrush to wash it for Wait, pussy. Wait, you used a toothbrush after you ate my pussy? Yeah. You used it to clean the pussy out your mouth? Yeah. My toothbrush. Pussy, pussy and plaque on my toothbrush. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, my God. I have to go. I don't know where I'm going, but I have to get out. What the fuck? Oh, no. Nah. Somebody like said that. pillows. You just going to change it like <laughs> <laughs> My 
Jesus. <laughs> Uh, it's okay we're gonna married keep reading, you're just gonna give it to somebody else to say toothbrush y'all some nasty niggas out here using people toothbrush I told you I was gonna stop saying niggas this episode no more niggas no more niggas y'all gotta stop acting like niggas though <laughs> <laughs> no man <laughs> let's go to the next one yo uh, somebody said pillows you get mad when I use your pillow yeah cause I got g- pussy in black on my t- <laughs> <laughs> wait <laughs> I got memory foam pillows <laughs> right and you always take my pillow. Because that shit is memory foam. You have like six pillows on your side. I got two pillows. Only two pillows that I'm like, these are my pillows. Don't touch my fucking pillows. And you got six pillows. You won't lay on none of the pillows at I, all. I lay on them. At- and the worst part is that you drool. So when I roll my face over, it's slobber on my cheek. <laughs> it's so nasty. Every time. I'm like, yo, you have all those pillows of drool on. You get on my pillow. I feel like now the you only... see how socks feel. No, it's not the same. And I'm starting to realize the only bodily fluid I like from you is sperm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like anything else. This is gross. <laughs> so nasty. I don't like nothing else. No, because God, I cannot believe you. Yo, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm not. No. You're right. I don't even know if we're going to get the topics today. I'm so upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, what, won't you share with your partner how much money I spent on Amazon? That's right. I don't think my mother lets my father know how much she spends. I'm glad you never asked me because during COVID, <laughs> I was ordering everything. Yeah. I had a nail shop. Oh, fucking nail shop in the house. Yeah. And where is that shit now? There was a box every fucking day. It was so easy because it's connected to and, the car. All you gotta was, do is press a button. And I'm wondering where the fuck is my it's like with the candy crush now, man. Like where that the is fuck is my money going? Out of my control. It's not out of your fucking control. So all you gotta do is send me a life. I'm like, yo, <laughs> send me a life. You be like, no, and I'm like, okay. Like, you know what I'm about to do. Just send me a fucking life. No, man. That's you then. That's your fault. Oh, gosh. Um, What can't you share with your partner? As much as I enjoy our sex, I don't always come. You have to be a bit... But everyone doesn't come all the time, though. Why don't people understand that? Yeah, but I think you should still share that with your partner. That's what I'm saying. You should be able to share it because everyone doesn't come all the time. That's just... It don't happen, and that's fine, but that don't mean that you're getting bad sex. It just... It doesn't happen, especially for women. Yeah. So... Yeah. You should be able to say that. Um, what can I share with my partner? The real love of your mm-hmm. life. That's deep. That's deep. Explain that to me. Uh uh-uh, uh, because that ain't my problem. I can't, I'm not them. No, explain it. Like the real love of your life. I guess they love somebody life. else and they just with somebody to settle. Like oh, everybody damn. think I'm doing with you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're not settling with me. I know I'm not settling. Yeah, because if this is your settle. Because you the shit. What? I was trying to be nice, but that wasn't the right time? No. What was you about to say? No, I was just going to say, if this is your settle, then I would hate to see what you really want. Why? Because that shit got to be out of reach. Why you say that? Because I'm a lot. No, you a lot. I'm a lot. You a lot. Yeah. Now, what is your definition of a lot? Like, I give you everything, girl. What? I'm Dude. everything you need and more. Why? What Why? are you? Name the things. What do you think I need? You. <clears throat> Go ahead. Tell a woman what she needs as a man. You need security. That's what a woman needs, huh? Females. You need you need somebody that's attractive. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that's a good father to your kids. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that's going to take care of you. Yeah, I do that all. You do most of those. No, all of them. Okay. Don't K me. No, you do them. I do. I know. Okay. Don't say okay like that. I'm just playing, baby. You do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you. All right. 
out of here, Kristen, that thinks something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, you what? do, baby. You do. You do. I'm lying. I'm just fucking with you. You are. You my you my dream man. Okay, so you always take <laughs> shit too far, man. You're so killing, man. <clears throat> what can't you share? Why well, your... I can't talk about you and be nice? Cause you be weird. You're yo. so cute. What's weird? Love is weird. Wow. Love is overrated. Love is overrated. <laughs> All right. You teaching? You teaching out here? Um. What? <laughs> What can't you share with your partner? Anything about how I fuck someone else or how many? Yeah, that seems to be a problem with most people. Yo, why is the number such a big issue? You're a man. I don't know. You tell me. Because it's the men that have the issue. It's never been an issue with me. Actually, I like girls that got, you know, moderate body counts. Well, because they experience? Yes. I've heard that too. I've yeah. heard two different, like two extremes. One is like, don't, I don't want you fucking, no, I barely want you to fuck me when you get here. I want you to just be nothing. And then I've heard, it's all right to have numbers as long as you with me, you with me, but you got yeah. experience. As a matter of fact, that's how I used to talk to girls that I felt was like super attractive. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I will always, excuse me, in my mind, I will always say two things. One, she has to take a shit at some point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and two she done sucked somebody dick at some point and i kept those two things in mind so that i never got too high on a girl so you realize that we're people too yeah you're humans you have lives like, yeah yeah things have happened hell yeah that's man. always been my thing like yeah yeah have numbers have fuck somebody else before me like yeah please I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope it was great. And like, I was talking about you. Uh, I was talking about you earlier to Taylor, matter of fact. Um, and uh, if you just now listening, Taylor was our old co-host. So if you listen to early episodes, whatever. But I was talking to her and I was um, talking about you not being my type. And I said my but I said my type was more because you was a hoe and I didn't really date hoes. But now I accept all hoes. Like I'm very hoe, you know positive but i think that's a thing like when i say that like i used to be big on body counts when i did it because everyone told you you were supposed to like when that was what you just did what everyone else did but once you sit down and you think about it it's like why the fuck do i care about any of this shit yeah i'm not going to front there were a lot of good girls that i tried to talk to and they was like yo i can't talk to you because you a hoe and i'm like girl that just mean i know how to treat you right <laughs> the fuck <laughs> <laughs> i've practiced i have never heard that whole pledge that's a whole pledge that is you know what i mean i've never heard that yeah but i mean like i'm not i'm not mad at it but like i mean that's what i was thinking i was like i don't want to talk to him he didn't talk to all these people he didn't fuck all these people but why do i care about that when i can just genuinely tell what kind of person you are and then i'm yeah. like okay well, i don't give a fuck and hoes are is he clean like i don't Okay. Hoes are the greatest because they have the best people skills. They you do. dealt you, with a lot of people. Yo, you got people skills like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. I don't really have good people skills. You don't. No, you do. I'm lying. You do. Because I go on stage, but like just in general, like, you know, I'm kind of weird. I'm weird around people. You are. You I'm are. very awkward around people. Like I don't know why either. Because you have a great personality, man. No, I'm I'm awkward. I just don't know how to talk. No, to I didn't you. say you wasn't awkward. You awkward right, as fuck. You, but... you didn't have to. Your volume went up. <laughs> nah, because I don't want you to ever forget that you awkward as fuck. No, I know. I didn't need to you hear awkward it. Black girl, it's man. Surround sound. You are I Issa Rae's just... muse. I I I'm very awkward, but I mean, like I have to get comfortable with people. That's it. And because I know I come with so much, like I am a lot. So I'm scared to talk to people because they might look at me and be like, mm, that's a lot. Like, oh, she. I get that. Yeah, she I always want to joke. She nasty. She did. Like, I feel like all of that is going to come out when I talk to somebody. So I don't know how to react to them because I don't know what they're about. Well, you got to get over that shit. I mean, I know that. But that's well, why. We about to meet some people. We going on the road, man. I know. I mean, I've been on the road. Before. No, I'm just saying. We you know, I forgot I did comedy. I've mean, been on the I road did. too. You forgot I did music. I was out here singing. Was you doing music as long as I've been doing comedy? Longer. How long? That you were on the road? I was on the road years. Uh, me too. Okay, so what? Yeah, but I was consistently on the road for years. Well, how many years? <sighs> One, two, three, four. 
four, about four years. Okay, I've been doing comedy for 11. No, no, no. But I was, I mean, I was still doing music. Yeah. Before then. Yeah. Yo, don't, don't try to <laughs> trump me. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just letting you know that I kind of, you know. You're trying to one-up me, man. I'm not. Actually, I'm not. You, you're way more successful at the shit you've done than I did. I never won Apollo. And that's yeah, you on go you. With that that's shit. Go. That's, <laughs> I ain't never done that ever in my life. Won Apollo? The fuck? Whatever, but you were successful in radio. You were successful in all. I, man, I'm just, I just be, I'm funny, and I'm evidently not that good because people don't know I'm a comic. <laughs> so, well, oh well. <laughs> Um, what is something that you can't share with your partner? Uh, banana pudding. Depends on who makes it. True. My mother <laughs> makes amazing banana pudding. No, she does. It depends on who makes like, it. Like, yeah. Uh, she should make some. You, Thanks. <laughs> what can't you share with your partner? Everything. Sad face. Looking for a new one. Oh, that's not, that's not, I don't like that. That's not yeah, nice. Man. Um, what can't you share with your partner? Desires about being in an open relationship. Wow. Oh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> you, you know the sucky part? What? She's posing with her partner in her Instagram. I know. <laughs> so now you can really feel it. It's like, oh, no, you can't tell him. Yeah, I can tell he, he ain't going to want that. I know. He is not going to want that. I just that. feel like you should. I mean, I get it. Like, once you're locked in, sometimes you can get in a relationship that you feel like is the one for you and then you discover all these other things that open your mind up to uh, to different shit. Like, I don't... Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a difference between getting a relationship and then you meet somebody else and you're like, oh, I just want to be with them. But, like, no, you learn different things about what you want in a relationship. And if you weren't open about those going in, like, I can... It's... it's it's Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. It's enlightening. That's why I just came mm-hmm. in guns blazing. Man, I got a kid, yo. I like girls too sometimes, and I be fucking. <laughs> and I'm weird as shit, and I like to sing Disney musicals. And you was and like, that was almost the deal breaker, yeah, huh? But yeah. I came in with all of them. I let you know. And you don't you you like to sing musicals. You don't like to sing Disney. Oh musicals. yeah, yeah. I'm just all around. I'm just a Broadway yeah. bitch. Yeah, I could. <laughs> Yeah. I could deal with musicals. Yeah. I can't deal with Disney musicals yeah. all the time. And I learned that you wasn't a Disney musical person when you didn't know uh Lion King 2 <clears> don't <throat> count. That's not even real. You didn't know Lion King 2. That's not real. And you didn't know uh Fuck Simba's Pride. That's you didn't not know real. Tevin Campbell's song. I did know the song. You didn't know the song. I knew the song. Eye to eye? Yeah. Sing it right now. Song, song, eye to eye, eye to no. eye. No, <laughs> no, from a goofy movie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. No, I know it when it come on. You don't know it when it. Yes, I do. If you only know it when it comes on, then you don't know it. No, that's how I jog my memory. I have a bad memory. What's it called? Eye to eye. Dun 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 Is that the music for the for the beat breakdown? No, I'm I'm in the verse. Oh, you in the verse now? Dun 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 Yo, you don't know this shit, man. You don't know it, man. Oh my gosh. I was trying to sing it. <laughs> oh man! I, <laughs> na, 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 na. If we listen to each other, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> what can't you share with your partner? My phone passcode. Mm. Damn, that's crazy. How you feel about that? <laughs> How do you feel about it? Nah. Do you feel like you have to share your code, your phone passcode with the partner? I don't know what those feelings are anymore because everybody know it now. The baby even know it. You know it. The baby know it. I don't give a shit. I don't feel like I have to, but if you want to know it, I'll tell you. I don't care. I ain't got shit to hide in there. You found that out before, huh? 
<laughs> I got shit to hide. Go look. I mean, nah, I get it. I, yeah. you know what? I've never been the person to hide my phone passcode, even when I had shit in there for per for a person to see. You bold? Nah, because my thing was, if I tell you what the passcode is, you'll never feel like I'm hiding anything. Yeah, but you were so that yeah. But they never looked because they was like, oh, I trust him. Exactly, because mm. I got his passcode, you know? Damn. Here go my phone. Ooh. Take it. Psh. Jedi mind trick on this Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. You are so smart. That's sexy a little bit. <laughs> I hate oh you. Oh, my gosh. I hate what? you. Take, um, take my phone. Say it again. Take my phone. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> take my phone. <laughs> Uh, what can't you share with your partner how good someone else's sex really was? Yeah, apparently that's something you're not supposed to talk about. I guess not. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that I shit. guess not. Damn. What can't you share with your partner? I can't tell her if I'm out with the boys and their girlfriends show up. She'll be even mad that she... She'll I be mad it. even though she had plans. I get it. I don't understand that. I get it. Like, um... It's like you didn't want to invite her. Like the girls show up and you ain't even know they were supposed to show up. She's not gonna believe you. Be like, oh, true. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, wow, everybody got to go but me. But huh? I hate. I'm not gonna lie. I hate when it's supposed to be like a boys' night out and somebody brings their girl. That shit fuck up the whole vibe, man. Why you always want to bring me everywhere? Cause it don't never be boys' night out. But when it's boys' night out, you can't go. Sometimes they be want me to go. No, they never want you to go. They don't be want me to go. Hell no. You ask them. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, guys. Listen, guys love. We love our our uh, our significant other. We even love when you are so cool that we can bring you around the boys. You know what's fucked up is that I was friends with your friends. <laughs> so now, yeah. now because we married, I can't be your friend no more. No, you they friend. You just a friend sometimes. That's like, so crazy. You their friend when I'm not around. Like one of your friends, I was friends with him before I was friends with you. And it's like we're not even friends no more. He the reason that uh we you together, gave me a chance. It's like we not we not even friends no more like that. I mean, that ain't my fault, yo. Yeah, it is. You married me. <laughs> <laughs> you took me out the loop. I can't even be friends. We're not friends. I mean, um, we friends, like we friends, but it ain't like the same. Like he I don't feel call awkward you, he now. Don't call you no more. Yeah, like it's awkward if if I go, even though I know that we had that prior relationship. Like, yo, that's that's my dude. Now it's like I'm your wife, and that's weird because I was always just. Well, that's probably also because of how close him and I are. But y'all always been close. Y'all was close when I was his friend. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know, man. It makes me sad. Does it? A little bit. <laughs> It's, are you really sad that you because i think that we get with when you get in relationships and you get with men sometimes people just see you as that couple you know what i mean and it's like now you're part of that couple and it's not even like it was like a sexual relationship or like a tension like really like my brother it's weird now because it's like you his wife but like I w i'm the same person yeah, but you you a wife now and you a mother of like little that's kids. That's like when all the dudes get together and they got the girls with them and they throw all the girls in one room and then all the dudes go in one room. And it's like we all supposed to be together and be cool because we girls. And it's, I don't Now, I'm not going to like lie. everybody like that. I'm not going to lie. I hate when that happens. I hate when I'm in the party and I have to hang out with the guys. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I don't want to talk about what these niggas are talking about. I'm more want to talk about what the girls talking about. <laughs> that should be good. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, cause, I mean, I'd be like, I'm fun. You don't want to just be like hanging out because I'm fun, right? Yeah, you want to be fun and so bad. I'm not fun no more. No, you, 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 I. Right. I'm still fun. You fun when we ain't home. What, what that mean? I'm not fun at home? No. You don't even want to play the video game with me. Because it's kids. They want to play the video game with me. <laughs> they want to do all the things. I can't do nothing by myself. Shit, I bought a couple of games just for us to play together, and you didn't want to play. Because there's kids. So what? The kids ain't up 24-7? 
Kids go to sleep. You ain't never said, yo, turn on the game. Let's play. You want me to do that? Hell yeah. I would love to whip your ass in some Tekken or something. Nah, you get violent. What you mean? You get violent and seeing you talk to little kids on the... On... <laughs> the way you curse little kids out Madden, ain't no telling what you gonna say to me. <laughs> Hell no. That's a setup. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's a setup. I'm not gonna lie. I, you see, I didn't say uh, Madden, though. Yeah, no. Nah, because if we playing Madden, yeah, I might cuss you out. That's a setup. I might call you out your name a couple of times. Yeah, you gonna be, be bitching and nigga the yeah. hell out of me. No more niggas, Kristen. No more niggas. No more niggas. Um, what can't you share with your partner? Blankets. He complains when I take more than my share at night. That's like the pillows. Yeah. I understand that shit. Yeah, that's real. That's real. All right. That was some good ones, man. Those I mean, some we good went ones. through a lot of that. We barely have need to go through topics for real. Nah, we got topics still. We got some things to talk about. But before we do, uh, let's take a pause real quick because we got to let y'all know about the upcoming things. You're not about to ask me about dates. I don't have my phone. I'm going to ask you about dates as well. Okay. You want to go get your phone real quick? Um, It's far. All right, well, fuck it. Okay. I mean, if you don't want nobody to show up at your shows, that's fine. No, I'm cool with that. Um, <laughs> We will be in Charlotte. Next weekend. Next week, March 27th. Please get your tickets if you haven't now. They're going pretty well from what I understand. Um, So I don't know how long they're going to be available. Yeah, yeah, really. So get your tickets yeah. now. Because uh, we it's, it's going to be fun. I love Charlotte Comedy Zone. Um, I've been there multiple times. That's like a second home. And they are excited about us coming. So yeah. I yeah. am... And we will have Cletus Cassidy with us and Blair Nias. From I forgot Cletus is coming. This is yeah. going to be an amazing it's show. Be fun as fuck. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of laughs. Yeah, Cl- Cletus is uh, amazing. Um, he tours with Kev on stage, and, and he cussed the, us he, out for not having him on the show sooner. So we ha- we, we had, had to bring to. him. We he was talking shit him. on um, all our posts and everything, and I don't think people think that he really like us. <laughs> So and he um, tells me that I'm a king. Yeah, he, he be telling you to know your all worth, sarcasm because I ain't shit. Know your worth, know your worth, king. I be like you are a terrible wife and mother. He tells me that every day. I believe him though a little bit. I believe him. I'm starting to believe these comments. Um, so that is March 27th. Yes. Um, we're gonna probably come up the day before, and then you know we'll we'll be there. So. Uh, holla at us mm-hmm. um, April 24th we will be at Virginia Beach Funny Bone back at home in Virginia yes. Beach the last time we were at Virginia Beach Funny Bone is sold, sold that bitch out. out sold that bitch out so make sure you get your tickets early because we plan to do the same thing this time yeah. April 24th oh it's gonna be super fucking cool I'm very excited about just being home again cause the funniest thing to me is that a lot of people don't even know that we are here. Yeah. Yeah. Like people, there's, there's probably people that are saying, Oh my gosh, can't believe they're coming to the city. Yeah. It's been people that's been like, yo, yo. Like, nigga, we 15 yeah, minutes away like, We there. are in Virginia beach. Uh, so please fucking come. Yeah. Uh, which is crazy because we sold out last time and now it's like a whole slew of people that didn't even know we was fucking here. Hell yeah. So, um, and, so and come. if we have to add another show, we will. So, so please, please, yeah. please come. Um, very excited about that. And then, um, we just added some new dates that we are going to announce on Patreon first. Um, very excited about these. And we have some other ones that are in the works right now, too. So super, super excited because it's pretty much a tour. We we touring. Yeah. We touring. We got yeah, shit going on. This year, 2022 is the year of our tour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, everything ain't consistent as far as dates. But uh, yeah, we're we still in trying bitch. to get those dates together. But once we do, we will let you guys know. Oh, June 9th through the 12th. Yes. June 9th through the 12th, um, I'm going to be at Caroline's with uh, Jay Farrow and AJ Foster. Yeah, and I'll be there too, not performing anything, just be there. Drinking and eating the chicken wings. Yeah, just. <laughs> 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 so that we that New York. So that, that is a thing. So, and um, I have. We're still looking for a New York date. Um, to the podcast, bring the podcast so, yeah. yeah, and then I have headlining dates coming up in Pennsylvania, and that is in May. And I will say those next episode because I can't remember the dates. But yeah, I think it's the fourteenth and fifteenth, to be honest with you. But I don't want to lie. So yeah, what about you? I don't know yet. Okay, 
I don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um tomorrow I'll be at well tonight I'll be at Casual Pint. Mm-hmm. Um but that might be the last time I'm there. So <laughs> just know now. It's all right because there's a lot of shit happening right yeah, now. Yeah. So we're kind of, we're busy, which is good because we got a few of these kids. Definitely. So. Um, make sure you get your merch at andthenwehadsex.com. That's always a good thing. Make sure you're joining the Patreon. The Patreon is a lot of good stuff up there. Um I think that's about it. Oh, subscribe to YouTube. Oh, yes, yes. Listen, all of the new subscribers on the YouTube, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber on the YouTube, make sure you're subscribing. Even if you just listen to the podcast, watching it is really dope as well. It's not dope. It is, I don't man. like it. Don't watch me. It is. You can see her faces, and her faces are like half the comedy, man. Shut the fuck like, up. So, uh, seriously. So my word is not funny? You think I'm a, I'm a physical comedian? Nah, not really. I need my body? I need your body. Oh, you know what? I've been horny these last couple of days. <laughs> um, I've been. I just want to throw that out there. I was horny. I was horny all day today, and you won't present. I was tired. I know. All you day. Still, today. you wasn't present, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I'm a little bit horny. Well, like you was gonna do anything with the pussy? I was, but that's what's crazy. I be horny when you're not around, and then like now I'm like, oh. took two melatonin before we recorded. The babies, though. The kids one. So oh it's gosh. not, like, a lot. It's not strong. Oh but, like, I'm tired. But I might still want to fuck. Like, you should put it in and just see what happens. <laughs> 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 I don't know yet. Yo. No, we'll see. Let's know. get back to the show. Okay. Um, What does my orgasm face look like? Mm. How do you describe it? I'm trying to describe it for people that are listening and not watching. Well, well... Describe it and do it. It's like you're, um, like you're holding out like a O, but like you know, it's like an opera singer, like a O, like that. Like you know how your face like looks like O, O. It's like O, you know. Like so, if you sing an opera, and then I know you make what an o, opera singer looks like, and then it's like you know how you round your cheeks out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> like it's like that because you almost look like you surprised that the nut is coming. Like it's shocking your face, but it's like oh, like it's a shock. Like your eyes get wide. You know your eyes are real low, so that's how I know you about to come because you open them and I can see them, and it's like oh. All right. You don't know that. That's not what you feel. What do you feel? I mean, I think I make sexy cum faces. Nobody's fa- cum face is sexy. Yeah, like I, I, in my mind, I'm biting my lip a little bit. Uh, uh-uh, your mouth and be my open. My nose is flaring. You think that's sexy that your nose flares? Yeah. Baby, what? It's like I'm in it, like. Mm. Baby, oh, that is not what it looks like. That ain't what it looks no. like. <laughs> what you just did right now? <laughs> it don't look like that at all. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, for real. Wow. You can't even see your thoughts when you don't have glasses on. That's crazy. <laughs> that is not what it looks like. That's not. No. I thought it looked I I thought I was sexy. What does mine look like? Um, a old woman trying to see. Right there. Right there. It is a ugly face. Uh ugly. Like you're not ugly. That old woman don't have teeth either, because that's what that face. Hell is like. no, no teeth. She don't have teeth. None. She don't have eyes. Gums. And she, she, she cinch up her mouth like that. Right there. I cross my eyes too. That happens. Yo, it be ugly. Ugly. Why you still be fucking me then? Because that's like the best part. That's probably why you don't be making me come a lot because you don't <laughs> want to see it. No. Oh no, I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. You can't put the mic down all the time. Sometimes you gotta answer these. Is that why? <laughs> you try to trick yourself. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Don't make it do it. I don't feel like seeing that today. Nope. Don't come. And you just tickle me or something so it go away. Something stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Fuck you. Is that why? Fuck. You. I love you. Um, if I couldn't have sex anymore, would you want to? Would you want to sleep with someone else? Hmm. I don't 
no. How old am I in this? Now. Right now? Mm-hmm. If you couldn't have sex. So why wouldn't you be able to have sex anymore? Maybe it don't work no more. I don't know. Maybe I'm sick or something. I don't I don't know. Do you, your mouth still work while this is happening? Yeah. Oh, you can just eat my pussy. What? That's it? I can buy a dildo. Or you can eat my pussy. Remember the other day? When you use you was using your fingers and you was eating my pussy at the same time, it was like a it was like a dick and a pussy. It, it, like a mouth, <laughs> it was a mouth on it, and it was whatever it did. It was crazy, and you could just do that all the time. Really? You want me to once? To nah, fuck somebody I, else? I, I it's not not. Would you be mad if I said yeah? No. Okay. Well, yeah, I probably would fuck somebody else. Do <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, if you was cool with it, I don't want to make you mad. You still my husband. What? No. What? You would. I mean, yeah, probably, yeah. But if that's if you was okay with it, I wouldn't just go like against just to be me. No, if you was okay with it, but if not, then you could use your mouth. Wow. What okay. about you? Oh yeah, I gotta fuck. Oh, I know, I know. I, Why did I ask? You wrote this question. Yeah, fuck. I know. I, I'm definitely fucking something. The day you say I can't fuck no more, that day I'm fucking something. Mm, that day. That day. You can't give me time, like a second. No, that day. Because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta start getting. But myself what if into I said practice. it and then all of a sudden doctors like fix that shit? Then I just got some free pussy. You think it's free? Yeah. You don't think I'm going to look back at that and be like, wow, look how quickly you changed. And no, then... it ain't changing. I just went and satisfied myself. You have a hand for that. Nah, but it ain't the same. Pussy pussy different. But you so, y'all so close. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all friends. <laughs> but you want to fuck your friend first. Nah. Somebody you nah, know. Nah, if you couldn't have sex, then I would definitely go out to find another woman quickly. Not like to date or anything like that, just to have sex with. Quickly, yeah. Quickly. You'd be like, oh, I gotta fuck something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. It turns you on that I can't have sex? Ooh, I'll probably do it in front of you if you wanted me to. But no, I would probably be at the doctor trying to figure out if I can reverse this shit. You're right. Right? You're right. So why you, you should go doctor, with me. To the doctor. <laughs> Why wouldn't you go? Nah, while you at the doctor, I'm 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 getting it in. I'm getting it in. Yo, you look away so quick. You don't want to see my expression? Nope. No. Nope. Look at me. Why? Just look at me. Say it again. <laughs> no, I just want to see what your face is. Nah, I'm I'm just I just gotta I gotta attack. I gotta Get okay. back in these streets. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a couple. It's, it's like a you couple. just want to be in there so bad. Nah, it's just a couple of people that I feel like. You owe them. Yeah. You owe them some dick. Like, not, not, not. Guess who's bizarre? It's a couple of people that I'm like, let me show you what I learned. Like, I could. But you should feel good. You taught me something, right? <laughs> you want to be a teacher? <laughs> You don't want to be a teacher? You don't want to do that? <laughs> no, nigga. All right. Um, Will Smith says that there has never been any infidelity in his marriage to Jada. Uh, Jada. Okay. So, open. Yeah. Which yeah. is what everyone kind of thought or, anyway. Or break. Or break. Or it could have been a break. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, I mean. Look, let them live their fucking lives, yo. No, no doubt. Let them live their lives. People were so up in arms about it. Like, how can that be? What are you talking about? Like, no, some people don't have to go through all this shit. Like, they have an understanding, and that's what it is, and that's fine. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when I seen that, I wasn't surprised mm -hmm. because they have such a strong relationship. Yeah. In my mind, I was like, if they cheated on each other or mm -hmm. one on another... I think that you would have seen those kind of cracks in their relationship by now. Yeah, no, they seem solid. They know yeah. what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, all power to them. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll meet them. Okay. 
That was random, but all right, yeah. Nah, I would Let's hope to meet. Throw that in the atmosphere. Yeah, I want to be on Bel Air for real. <laughs> I don't know who I would be because I think I'm at the age where I'm a mom now. Yeah, you're a mom. I don't like that shit. You are a People mom. People been calling me lady or that woman. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> in these fucking comments. Must that be lady. A who lady. is this lady? <laughs> this woman right here has it. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Can't get a girl to save your life. God. I just want to be a girl <laughs> Chick Can I be a chick I can even be a bitch I just want to be Something besides a lady <laughs> Ma'am <laughs> um, Stevie J receives Oral sex during an interview And when I seen that that's, I was like Yo I, That's me That's a legend That is that me That is very much you though That is me Oh my god Listen I I wouldn't be giving you Head in an interview though Cause I'd be like Let me say hi <laughs> <laughs> Let me say hi. I just want to talk to him. Pop up. Say, yeah. Hello. I just want to say hi. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. Um. Let me see. What else? What else? Uh. I don't know. You you be putting things into these notes. Oh yeah. This was something that I saw on Baller Alert. Um. I'm just going to read the text message. It said, hi, thanks for calling me twice. I won't be returning your call. It was great speaking with you last night. However, your outlook on life does not align with my morals or beliefs. Please don't be discouraged. There's a woman out there who has the same closed mindset such as yourself. That woman just ain't me. Take care, and I wish you the best. Blessings, King. First of all, that Blessings King sh- Yo, that's... But I appreciate that, though. Call me a king. Oh, my God. Call me a king. Even though you saying that I ain't the one for you, call me a king. I mean, the way that it happened, I'm just like, that is the most respectful breakup that has ever happened, ever in life. Tell there me was a- another one I wanted to read, and I got to get permission from her to read it first, but I think I might, I might do that next episode. Tell me about a good breakup you've had. A good breakup? A good breakup. Like an interesting one or just a good one? A good one. Um, I don't know. He um, he gave me mono, and I was like, I don't think we should do this. And he was like, <laughs> You right? You right? We shouldn't do this. You yeah. know, it's so funny. I feel like if you can't, if you can't, if you haven't had at least one good breakup, mm-hmm. then you're nine times out of ten a toxic person. Yeah, I think so. That's my that's my thoughts. There, every breakup shouldn't have to be terrible. Well, I don't know. It also depends on how many people you've been with. Let's be adults, though. Like you could be in two relationships, and maybe both of those breakups were bad, and it wasn't your fault. I don't think that's good. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's. What is this like? You think somebody gonna break up with you and be like, "Yo, so how was your last one? It was good." Or I'm gonna fuck f- this one up. My first breakup was bad. My second breakup was good. Okay. My third breakup was long. Just took a long time to break up. Yeah. You ever had one of those? Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and my next breakup was amicable. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't amicable. It wasn't. It wasn't. It it was uh on your end. Yeah, I mean, you know, she she didn't do anything crazy. Why would we, she have to do something crazy? No, nah, you said it on my. But end. that doesn't mean it was amicable. It was. It was. Uh, it was respectful. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. He wasn't respectful. I didn't say I was being respectful, but the breakup was respectful. How? There was no argument. There was no yelling. There was no. Uh, that happens when you ignore somebody. <laughs> There was there was nothing that caused us to come out of character. Maybe you just dealt with a respectful person. And I was a respectful person. Okay. But that doesn't mean the breakup itself was like amicable. Yeah, well I said not amicable. Mm. Did you? It was close though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't hurt me, man. Right. I didn't say anything. Um, let's get into things that have nothing to do with sex. I don't have a lot of those today. Uh, where did it go? Where did no it, idea, babe. Where did it go? I don't know. I think you lost some stuff, so maybe, maybe it's not there. No, it's there. There we go. Okay. No, that. There, yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Um, Netflix is talking about Fuck charging no. people to for add sharing passwords. Shut up. Outside of your house. They're going to lose so much money. You think? Hell yeah. I don't believe so, man. Did yeah. you see Did you see that lineup of movies? They're not going to lose. They're going to do that right before the lineup drop? Probably. Man, they don't like go do that shit. They gonna find another way to get around. <laughs> now that's what I think. Hell yeah! Oh my god! Because yeah. honestly, how do you know? We are not gonna take that lion down. We are gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit illegal as fuck. But we still nah. Y'all can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Watch this. Yo, how? But how can they tell? Is my question. I don't know. You but know, it's funny. That's hilarious. Outside of your household. I mean, it's they program, so I'm sure they can figure out how to do it, but that's funny. But it's, it's rough, though, because you figure like this. What about if I'm out of town and I want to watch a movie on my account? How are you going to you tell me? You log into your account. Exactly. But it's outside of my household. It's not the IP address that it usually comes from. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, how can you tell oh, that it's not that it's yeah, not I don't me. know stuff about technology, so that's deep. I don't know, man. I don't know shit. Yeah, but they say they're doing it as a trial basis to see, you know. So maybe it it's works. on a couple of unlucky niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no more niggas, Kristen. No more um, niggas. condolences, yes. condolences. We got to get to there. These two are big. Um, gotta say, rest in peace to Tracy Braxton. Yeah, who died after a battle with cancer that nobody knew about. Right, they kind of did her like. Chadwick, because a picture of her came out last year. I want to, it was at somebody's wedding. I don't, it might have been her child. I can't remember. Um, but she was really small and people kind of got on her, like, oh my God, what happened to her? She lost too much weight. What's going on? Da, da, da. And turned out she was going through the same thing. And I think it's so fucking sad. It's, it's, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. and I hurt for the family. Um, on their reality show, you could tell that they were all really close. Even they're when all, they was fighting and stuff, you could still tell there was love there. They talk about that. Like they're <laughs> they are sisters. That that right. is your sister. Like they oh my gosh. Like I feel so I uh, and then just to go through that so quickly and then but with the support around her. I was reading something her mom posted about how they were like laid up in the bed together every night and talk about it and she was like mom I'm, I'm gonna beat this and she tried her hardest to beat it and her body just couldn't do it and i was like man. oh my god man yeah that sucks yeah. um also rest in peace to scott hall mm-hmm. aka razor ramon mm-hmm. that one hit different man i know that one hit different um <clears throat> growing up i was the biggest wrestling fan and razor ramon was right up there one of my favorites of all time um i used to do the razor's edge with my brother you know Mm -hmm. i mean just putting them in the moves and you know he just had a a charisma about him that i loved yeah um he died uh if i'm not mistaken he was having hip surgery Mm -hmm. and during the surgery he had like three heart attacks yeah or strokes or something yeah i saw that too yeah yeah and that that was scary because i'm like I remember the last surgery I had, I almost didn't wake up or something like that. And Yeah, there was a lot going on. It's just scary when you go into these surgeries for something that's very routine and you know, you never know if you're coming back out alive. You know what yeah, I mean? So I was very scared. <clears throat> you know, condolences to his family and all of his fans. Um yeah, yeah. Yeah. That sucks. We got through those condolences without any jokes or laugh? I'm so proud of us. Yeah, listen. Look at us. Oh my god, high growing five. up. No, yeah. boom. Oh, it's a little, Don't dat me. It was kind of a weird. Don't dat me. Five. It was a weird angle that you did it. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are we watching? Game Theory with Bomani Jones. That shit was fire. Yo, like yo, that shit. Whether you are a sports fan or not, it was so good. You gotta watch it. I love it. It is so good that Bomani Jones is going to get an award for this. James Davis had me cry. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. Man, so good. Yeah, that was. Good. Good. Hilarious. Good. Um, check that out. Uh, winning time. Winning time was good. I liked the way it shot. We only watched episode one. Is there three episodes out now? Um, maybe. I know there's definitely a second episode out. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the third. But I liked it. I liked it. It was good. It was good. I liked it. I don't know how That's, to explain it. I mean, I liked it as well. I hate their casting for Magic Johnson. Really? 
I don't. I he's. I not, liked him. He's not magic, man. I liked him. No, he wasn't a bad actor. But we only watched one episode, though. Yeah, but he's not magic. Like he don't have that magic thing about him. It's okay. We'll like, see. Like you know, happens. when we watch Bel Air, yeah. Old boy oh, got that Will is. Smith he is, yeah. thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like this dude didn't have that Magic Johnson thing. I liked it. I thought it was him. good. Um. But it, it, it's a really good, like you said, it was shot really well. Yeah, it's interesting um, how they fit the comedy in there. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's yeah. definitely funny. Um, so check that out. It's called Winning Time, the story of the L.A. Lakers ride, uh, Showtime era. Um, we watched Free Guy. We did watch Free Guy, finally. Finally, yes. I was going to say, it's old. Yeah, Trust yeah, yeah. to talk about it right now. It's old. But we but, did watch mm-hmm. it. It was so fucking good. I loved it. I, Man. I love his whole rebrand ryan reynolds man his whole rebrand is like at first he was like a random like just the you know the heartthrob in the movie and whatever and but this like ever since like deadpool like this whole sarcasm like this is i, I love that this is yeah. who his character is yeah he's one of he's he's becoming one of my favorite actors really quickly and he's yeah. in the uh a new movie on the Netflix, adam project right? that i haven't watched yet yeah yeah so we With gotta check Mark that out this ruffalo week. virginia beach's own He's from Virginia Beach. The Hulk is from Virginia Beach. He went to First Colonial. I told you that. The Hulk is from Virginia Beach? Yeah, he went to First Colonial. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I thought the Hulk? Know. Oh, my God. I told you that. The Hulk is from Virginia Beach? I mean, he older, but yeah. He the Hulk. You, d- I told you. Calm down. That's He's so not cool. there now. He the Hulk, though. I know, but yeah. Damn, son. I thought I told you that. Yeah, he went to Virginia Beach. He that is so dope to me, man. Yeah. That is so dope, yo. There's a lot of people in Virginia. Man, they making moves out here in Virginia Beach. Word, There's a lot man. of shit going on. There we go. Ain't the Flash from Virginia Beach, too? Yeah, the Flash like, is from lot. Virginia Beach. The Flash, uh, new season. Well, it's it, it was really weird because they started the new season with like this miniseries. Um, and it was like a six-part miniseries or something, like five mm-hmm. or six-part miniseries. And... Um, that started the season so now the regular shows for the season have just started i gotta catch up on it i think i only missed one episode but okay. yeah the flash if you haven't watched the flash it's a really good show like yeah. legit a really good I don't, show i don't watch it did we ever talk about earthquake yeah okay yeah, yeah. we talked about earthquake. all right um Taylor Tomlinson also is a really good stand up. I've only watched half of it, and it's weird that I'm even telling y'all to watch it. But I feel like I have to talk about stand up every now and then. But um, she's such a smart writer anyway, and I've watched half of it. And it's about her mental health struggles and stuff, like her stand up special. But she's, if you want to write to like really good writing, like re- she's so fucking funny. Let me tell you why Kristen ain't shit though. Because anytime somebody talking about Bob Potler, all right, she always want to know how I feel or oh, you should watch this. I Why? Because they know bipolar you, too. I just want to know how you. F- she even has a uh, she has a joke, um, a section where she's talking about how I guess her therapist telling telling her that she's bipolar, or whatever, and she's like, every time someone says that, like they mention to you other people that are bipolar. Yeah, man. And she was like, she was that, like, Selena Gomez is bipolar. She was like, oh, well, I guess that is better. <laughs> Listen, pretty. when I got diagnosed, the doctors told me all of these people that were bipolar. I did too. And he was making up people, too. He was like, yeah, I mean, I think that person's bipolar, too. And I'm like, nigga, you don't even know when you're just going to try to put this on this person? Mariah Carey's bipolar. You don't know that for sure. She is. It's well known, yes. When she say that? I don't know what year. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't believe she said that. She did. You can Google it. I promise you. Whatever, man. She has said it. All I'm saying is that as a bipolar person, we don't need y'all to constantly tell us who else is bipolar. Well, you just tell you one time so you can feel good about going into it. No, it, you don't feel good about that shit. You just don't feel good that Mariah that, Carey has, is bipolar No, as well. knowing that that person is she bipolar a, don't change shit. whole secret menu on McDonald's. You don't feel good about that? She got a holiday. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be. No. She got a holiday. Fuck it. I don't she, care. They sell Mariah cookies on DoorDash. They don't even tell you it's McDonald's cookies. She just get her own store. That's crazy. Anyway, before we get out of here, somebody uh, 
got in it, slid in our DMs, and um, I'm just going to read it. Uh, maybe you and your wife could address this for me. I can't share my truths with my husband. How to address things like that when you're not on the same page or don't want to hurt them? Hmm. You can't share your truths. I guess it depends on what the truths are, but maybe you feel like you can't share them because you haven't. You know what I mean? Maybe it's more on you um, and not him, but also think of what it is that's making you uncomfortable before you like with telling him, like what is holding you back from telling him? You just feel like he's, he might react a certain way or it's just like something inside of you is just, you're not ready to do that. A lot of people aren't ready to be super open, which you should be. You're married. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, when you get married, you're supposed to be becoming one. And in becoming one, you don't hide anything from yourself. So why would you hide anything from the person you're supposed to be one with? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's... that's. You, try, you be trying to get fucked at the end of the episode. <laughs> like I said I wanted to fuck earlier and you get to the end to say some sexy shit to be like, she, she's still ready? That pussy's that pussy still, still wet? Right. <laughs> that pussy's still wet? I got some... Oh, you use that voice on it too? Whatever. Um, but yeah, you got to be able to just figure out what it is that's making you not want to tell them. What are those truths? Like, yeah. you should... They, or re I mean, I'd hate to tell you you're married to reevaluate a relationship, but like, nah. Sometimes you got if to. If it's your husband, what is it about him that doesn't make you feel comfortable? That's real. So it's one of those things you just got to think about. That's kind of your decision to make. Yeah, that is real. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been a good episode. Oh, you like good. you like this one? Yeah, this one was good. You'll be liking them. Yeah, I mean, this one I'm pretty pretty solid about. This is going to be one that people hate. <laughs> yeah, that episode that y'all like, trash. Y'all y'all had a good time, trash. Her forehead was out, trash. Oh, man. Yeah. Once again, yeah. make sure that y'all are following the Instagram as well as the Facebook. And the YouTube. And the YouTube. Join the Patreon. Yes, join the Patreon. Buy some merch. Hell All this yeah. is to support our kids. I don't know why people think we have money. We don't have fucking money. Brokies. We do this shit for fucking free right now. <laughs> free. Because podcasting is weird as shit. So that is just supporting us. Even a click or a subscribe or a share is just support. And it helps us to just, you know, grow. Because this yeah. shit is fun and we enjoy it. Hell yeah, we enjoy it a lot. We enjoy talking to you guys each and every week. And uh, yeah, until next time. And then we have sex and so should you. Thanks for listening. This has been an On Ear Network production.